The human papillomavirus is a sexually transmitted virus that causes most cases of cervical cancer and all cases of genital warts, as well as oral, anal, vaginal, and penile cancers. The, the infection is fairly common. 80% of sexually active adults will contract the human papillomavirus. Although most people won't have any signs of the infection, they still can be transmitting it. The virus it gets into the skin and, and into the, the DNA of the inner cells, and it can create these warts or it can create cancers. And unfortunately, the, the virus can be in the skin and can be shed by individuals who are infected and they don't even know that they, that they have the virus. The genital warts that two of the subtypes of HPV can cause, uh, unfortunately, are often not protected by condom use. The only way to prevent these warts from occurring is abstinence. Condom use will help reduce the chances of getting the HPV but does not eliminate it. And now we're seeing a rise in the development of oral and throat cancers and the human papillomavirus is part of the problem with these types of uh, cancers occurring. There is a vaccine that protects against the human papillomavirus. There's two different types. One, Cervarix, protects against the types of human papillomavirus that cause cervical cancer, and Gardasil protects against both the cervical cancer and, and the two types that cause genital warts and the oral, throat, anal, and penile cancers. It's best to get this for, ch for young women and men to get this at the age of uh, between 12 and 14, although they can get it up until 25. The Gardasil has been around since 2006, and over 600,000 doses have been given, and it's been shown to be safe and effective. So there's a real opportunity here for us to immunize our young people against both these genital warts and these different types of cancer. That's a minute for health.